Santo Cilantro. This is day 12. Now, these guys are slow germinators, and the germination rate from the seeds is usually not that good. So 12 days to get a cilantro um, seedling is pretty much what you're going to expect. 12, 14 days, sometimes even longer, just depending. The School of Aquaponics. So we'll put this here inside of our media, and we can now continue on with the growth cycle. Now, day 31, the leaves are now beginning to show their form, and we can identify this as a cilantro plant. It's oftentimes um, it can resemble a parsley plant, and that's basically because it's related to parsley. It's known as a Chinese parsley. Now, day 44, you can see that the growth is just expanding. These plants pick up speed pretty quick, and then when they get going, they really get going. So the plant is looking green, lush, no pest. We really don't have a problem with pests with this plant. Um, so pesticide doesn't really have to be used. Now, day 53, you can see we're just continuously growing. We could harvest any time. Any time we could have harvested these leaves, but I'm just letting them grow and letting them mature all the way. So until we get to the final harvest day, where you can see that this is day 84, and this thing is just boom, out of control, out of control. Now, this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite herbs to grow. Make a salsa with onions and tomatoes and the cilantro. Make some chicken or beef tacos. Oh my goodness. Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles. 